Here is a good presidential story about President Taft, who is stuck in the bath. And as you know, George Washington crossed the Delaware in the dead of night. Abraham Lincoln saved the Union. William Howard Taft got stuck in a bathtub and then got unstuck. <laughs> this is his story. There he is, William Howard Taft, the 27th President of the United States. He busted monopolies, instituted the federal income tax, and became the only president to also serve as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. But today, President Taft is stuck in his bathtub. Blast, said Taft, this could be bad. He squeezed and he shimmied, he hefted and stretched. He gripped the rim of the tub and attempted to lift himself, but it was no use. President Taft was stuck in the bath. Taft took a deep breath and tugged his mustache. Think, Taft, said Taft. Use that big noggin and cook up a plan. Two hours passed. The water got cold, and President Taft was still stuck in the bath. I hope, said Taft, that nobody notices I am missing. Then someone knocked at the door. The dogs heard him. Double blast, said Taft. Blast and drat. Winnie. Oh, dear. It was Taft's wife, the First Lady of the United States of America. You've been in there for a while. Is everything fine? Taft splashed in the bath. Yes, Nellie, he said. I'm just scrubbing my back. I see, Nellie said. Are you really quite sure? Oh, blast, shouted Taft. Why can't a man have a nice, quiet bath? Nellie said, sorry, Willie. She sniffed. Taft felt bad. My love, said Taft. I am stuck in the bath. Oh, so you are, said Nellie. She thought, well, perhaps. It's a disaster, said Taft. Yes, but perhaps. Last, perhaps, shouted Taft. We need action, a plan. Please be a sweetie and call the vice president. The vice president came and stood by the tub. Well, Jim, said Taft, I'm stuck in the bath. I see, said the VP. Well, you've called, you've called the right man. I'm ready to be sworn in as the president of the United States. Blast that, bellowed Taft, a preposterous plan. Perhaps said the First Lady. Call the Secretary of State, shouted President Taft. Mr. Secretary, said Taft, I'm stuck in the bath. Indeed, said the Secretary of State. Let me put this diplomatically. A man of great stature need not be of great girth. And so, last man, shouted Taft, are you calling me fat? No, sir, the Secretary of State was taken aback, but certainly a diet combined with calisthenics. Last diet, said Taft. I need something fast. Should we swear me in as president now, asked the Vice President. Call the Secretary of Agriculture, shouted President Taft. Mr. Secretary, said Taft, I'm stuck in the bath. Hmm, said the Secretary. A huge vat of butter should do the trick. We'll have 50 farmers milk 50 cows. If Congress spends a night churning, we should have enough. We'll grease up your sides and the sides of the tub. Then it'll be easy. You'll slide right out. Last butter, said Taft. As soon as I'm out, I'll just need a bath. Perhaps, said the First Lady. Call the Secretary of War, shouted President Taft. Mr. Secretary, said Taft, I'm stuck in the bath. Yes, said the Secretary, we'll soon see to that. With what? Taft asked. Dynamite. Taft was aghast. We just need a few sticks of TNT and a rather long fuse and boom, you'll be free. We'll blast this old tub into smithereens. Blast blasting, said Taft. 
That's dangerous, man. You be wearing a helmet, said the Secretary of War. No, shouted Tap. Don't you think President James Schoolcraft Sherman sounds catchy, said the Vice President. No, shouted Taft. Perhaps, said the First Lady. Call the Secretaries of the Navy, Treasury, and Interior, shouted President Taft. Send deep sea divers into the tub, said the Secretary of the Navy. Throw money at the problem, said the Secretary of the Treasury. The answer is inside you, said the Secretary of the Interior. Blast that, that, and that, shouted President Taft. It is clear I am unfit for office. A president cannot govern while stuck in a bath. Am I to be carried around this great nation in a tub, born alone on the back of six young men like a princeling from antiquity? No, bellowed Taft. It is un-American. Taft waved his right hand. Fetch the Chief Justice. I will resign. Let's swear Sherman in. Wait, said the First Lady. Let's not be rash. There are eight of us here. Perhaps if we stop using our brains and just use our arms, we could pull Willie out from the back. It was a pretty good plan. And so those eight great minds rolled up their sleeves, and they yanked and they tugged. At first, Taft wouldn't budge, but then came a squeak, and a slap, and a snap, and just like that, President Taft flew from the bath. We flew Willie. And there were many glad cries. Taft kissed his wife. A celebration ensued, and someone called in a band. There was dancing and snaps. The Secretary of State raised his glass. A toast, he said, to President Taft. Worry not, great man. One hundred years hence, no one will recall that you were stuck in the bath. Our grandchildren's grandchildren will read of your many great feats. The crowd broke into applause. Speech, speech, they all said. The band stopped. Taft cleared his throat. Those gathered were wrapped. Would someone hand me a robe, he asked. And that is that. And that is President Taft stuck in a bath. And here is a picture of a custom-built bathtub for the president that he could finally sit in and not get stuck anymore. Hope you enjoyed this presidential story.